that up with a win over Talis Leitis. For Talis Leitis, he has been un... Henrique de vitórias e lutar para frente, lutar bem. Michael Bisping, a victory over Talos Latis, shows everyone the title. I will get my hand raised because it's my destiny to win this fight. It is my. I don't see a polished kickboxer. I don't see a polished striker. Tanto que o meu e o chão também não. Vou lutar para frente e vou buscar terminar a luta para eles. I'm undefeated in England, and this fight will be no different. The crowd will fly from Brazil and beat me in front of my own people. Sorry, mate. Talis been defeated since 2010. He has won five walking into hostile territory here, but he chooses to walk out something that has the whole crowd success. You can see it on his face right now. Comes out here calm, relaxed, like in a five-round fight with decisions and judges and the volume he puts out there. Comfortable going out headhunting and taking Michael Bisping out on the feet. And that's the biggest although Henry Burrow and there's Joe Rogan says all those vicious beats. Certainly. And you know, Nobu and Yao's success. I mean, yeah, they've got great guys in the gym, but they're coming. And we've seen all those areas of Talis Lathan's game escalate in his first stint. Savages at Novo five round fight. It will come. Some guys become synonymous with their walkout music. Michael Vinny's got in when he prepares. It is all about fighting. They're, he's been doing his entire life, even back when he was a teenager, fighting grown 24th UFC fight tonight for Michael. What a difference, though, in five-round fights. And you were talking about it earlier, Tim Kennedy. He's got phenomenal cardio. He can keep a get back up. And he recovers so quickly in between rounds. He'll actually put his is he's extremely elusive. He'll get just out of the way so that your punch you will see in the middleweight division. Four out of his last five fight. Advantage Bisbee. We will find out. Our Talis latest who will have a six-inch reach. And ladies and gentlemen. This is the Mark Collette, Howard Hughes, and Paul Sutherland. When the action begins, for those in attendance at UFC fans, let's go Scotland! Five rounds in the UFC. Jiu-Jitsu fighter holding a professional record. 25 wins, four losses. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the number five. And now it's 27 wins, 7 losses. He stands 6 feet 1. Presenting the Ultimate Fighter Season 3 win. Michael! The Count! Gentlemen, team break. Fight hard, fight fair, fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, do so now. 1,006, as did his opponent, Talis Latis. Michael Bisping in the dark trunks. White trunks for Talis Latis. Trouble, it's guys that get him early. Very important round right now for Talis. Has landed the greatest number of significant strikes in middleweight history. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just come here to me, please. Okay. Uh, a direct hit. Yeah. You're in charge of your That's the okay? danger of that <laughs> inside leg. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Yep. Creates some openings in the striking realm for himself. Very smart by Leitens. Game by the count. Yeah, especially in terms of getting up when he's taken yes. down a nice right hand. A little slip and rip. One minute. Burns of Talis Leitens throwing combinations. Very hard to hit Michael Bisping if you throw one or two up. Or as he's angling away from you. Leitens certainly. Seeing with that right hand right now, Michael Bisping's ducking under it well. If Leitens were. In his fight against Tim Boach. Finish that with an arm triangle. And Leite's already land one leg kick. He's got some hard right leg kicks. Nice high kick. Hard. Heavy kicks possessed by Talis Leitis. <laughs> Round one, just past the midway point. Back in the UK. Leite's pacing him. He's got a long fight. And that one of the biggest weapons, if not the most dangerous body a little bit, start chipping away at Talis Leites, who just landed another nice leg kick. Up and goes inside. 
Leach is thinking about that. He landed that leg kick and landed a very hard counter right hand. Leach, has got a little lazy there with that one, and Michael caught him. Jason. Elbows again. Dead, Mikey. I'm just going to repeat what you're saying. Leitis is trying to lock up a leg lock here with his half guard. You're on your waist, drags around the mat. Mike is in a really bad spot right now, but only third. Brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Leitis long. Get him out here. I think he should open up with his punches. That was a close round, and Bisman gets away with a big fat. It's round two. Jason Perillo told Michael who won the round. That was a close round. Where late he was able to finish. Ooh, nice, nice overhand, overhand right. right. Yeah, started and led in with the jab. Oh, the count, Michael Bisping. And that's that's a weapon we have. Everything else that he does, his combinations, his takedowns, his angles. Just not throwing a, enough volume right now. He can't let rounds slip away. I'm not sure if he won round one. Last five fights have been scheduled for 25 minutes. And a lot of times that gets in a fighter's head. They hold back in there, thinking, I, and Leite's made him pay for it. Man, we have talked throughout the show, bro. When he does connect, he's connecting with power. Back in 2009, Leitis went the distance with outside of the UFC. Little stumble by Bisbing. And it looked like Bisbing caught him again with it. Yeah, take a look at that front leg. See it was. It was the same angle, same setup with the right step first to lift the left. Bisbing, you can tell, respects the power. Your knee and your opponent's shin, and they'll stop throwing that kick. Yeah, speaking about Chow. Now Mike's starting to set up. He kind of pumped that right hand like he was coming with a sh In singular by themselves, you're inviting a hard counterpunch. Groove. And as you said, Brian, he admits he can be a slow start. Timing, which has been key. He's had several really nice counter strikes this round. It was in 10. Eight straight wins for Talis Lake. Precise and surgical when you talk about the striking, specifically the boxing of left and sank in that left hook quickly. I sometimes say it's precision. There was a kick by Talis Leites and Michael Bisping dropped his hand. All right, well, Leites having a lot of success with the right low kick. Sweating up that left leg. And because of Michael's stance, he's had two in the books. Dallas. The first round, in the advantage. Just kick, kick his. You, you know jujitsu better. He's going to You're really breaking that lead leg, Dallas. See if we can come back upstairs. His mouth is opening up. But... Great round, Mike. Right back, young John. Right back. Thank you. Kick over. He's starting to break down. And it there. Yep. And again, pushing oh, forward. Oh, watch that. He's hurt. Latis is throwing with some very cruel intention. Your best time to hit Michael Bisping when he's got nowhere to go because he's got how many? <laughs> a minute into the third. Attest to it is a guy who's rocked Michael Bisping before. He recovers so fast out of there. Bisping has finished 20 of his 20s. A lot of energy trying to finish Mike there. Some blood on the left side of his face. Yeah. He's just trying to save some of that maybe for Michael's a little more tired, but he lands a nice left hand there. And would clearly be on the side of Bisping. Absolutely. Good kick. Heavy leg Ooh. kick. It was a shin made of steel. Toe-to-toe, <laughs> -to -toe, just about at the midway point of our fight. Ooh. Not to stay focused out there with Michael Bisping. Nice. Jump spinning back tackle. I mean, he was clearly winning the early portion of this round, but a lot more volume out there. You never know how these judges are going to sound fight than a five-round fight. <laughs> Tenth time for the guy, no matter how good a shape you're in. It's just different. The two five-round flea, Brian, you want to see how he is going to be offensive, but also... And they told him, Mike is really good with about a minute left. He likes to... The takedown, and look how quickly Mike gets back to his feet. He is fantastic at that. Both men bloodied, but far from beaten. Bacon, he's faint, and he's throwing a lot of different volume. A nice right hand landed there for Michael Biz. Gets himself in range with his feet always underneath him. His footwork is, is doing a really good job of cutting Mike off and forcing his back against the fence. The footwork of Biz being, being compromised. He was the headliner in 2007 against Rashad Evans in the championship rounds. Four and five. They are back. From the beginning of the round, trying to trap the back of Michael Bisbee. He gets that fence again and unload. Close fight. Inside leg kick again. 
And he's been countered. He's been taking not the normal footwork of Michael Bisping. No, that thing's got to be a little stiff. With some... Now here's where Michael Bisping's had trouble. Late up the right uppercut. The right got his back off the fence. This is a Bisping type fight. Count. Coming into tonight, Octagon. You Big know, it's overhand. Accidental. You know, Bisping talked about training his jiu-jitsu. He said for years, he focused so much on Only that right? leg kick. Yes. And as you said, that'll send a message. You know, I'm going to be doing a lot in the octagon. That's my striking. And so far, I mean, late the most strikes landed in middleweight history. And Leite's bursts are really... He's allowing Bisping to maintain his rhythm too much. Alice Leite has been countering... Some combinations of my traditionally Michael Bisping get get away from a lot of those counter strikes. Yeah, angles exit here in these exchanges, and now he's getting caught for it. That's one of the values. Five round. Five. Steps backward, but here he gets him trapped, and he's not taking advantage of it. Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners over the years have turned attempt there from late tees. Try to catch that kick again. You know, he could possibly open dragging guys down on the floor. Again, oh, on the front, become so accustomed to seeing is not. In there, slip the overhand right from Leite's again. We're just seeing such a little volume from Leite's right now. It's a close fight. Uh, you see Leite's coming out aggressive. You win his being, be confident in those combos. You're throwing one wild punch and then turning Leite's around in that octagon all night. Mike's gonna stay on his bike. Trying to pump through it though. First fight. Oh, got him again with a left Caught Brian. Him. Under four now. Yeah, Leite's has really chosen the right. Great finishes by Talis Leite's. A great job of cutting off the octagon. And a nice left hook there as Mike tried to with the jab. Nicely done there, Michael Bisping. A lot of times he likes to end those combinations. Up. Brian, he's really long on those punches. Under three. And Leite's is just full. The head kick, we said he crow copped. Crow cop. Right now, Talis. Not so much last round, but this round he thus far. Yeah, but Mike's having some success with his longer combinations this round. And getting diced up by that jab of Michael Bisbee. Remains. When he had him down there, Mike got up so quickly. Looks like Lake of Michael Bisbee out, and that could be a big reason why as well. Finally he wants, but... And again! Little slip and rip by the... Looking to land is Talis Leites. And Bisping struggled with the forward pressure. Talis looks excellent here in his first 25 minutes. Mike slipped there, but he could very well have gotten hurt by that left hook. What a... Oof. Both guys getting aerial here. They go the... And, I mean, he chopped Mike down with leg kicks and when he was able to Bisping's volume and precision, he was baiting Talis Leite's in. I mean, Michael Bisping actually sliced his toe nearly in half on one of those inside. Baited Talis Leite's in and landed some beautiful two and three punch combo. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, five rounds, we go to the judges' score. Bisping and 48-47 for the winner by split decision.